Hi guys, good morning. Today we're gonna talk about something that I did do a blog about it, but I've been getting still a lot of requests. And this is what we consider what it is the pick of the litter. As you may all know, in the past, back in the 60s, in the 70s, the pick of the litter was considered or was denominated as the best dog for show. I, as an AKC and an FCI judge, when I talked at that time about the pick of the litter, I was referring to the best structure and the dog that would really make it in the ring and win for, for confirmation. Come here, boys. And this is something that with the years have changed quite a lot. So right now, the meaning of pick up the litter can have many different ways of looking at it. You see, you can have a pick up the litter of a puppy that is gonna have the highest drive and the person wants it for sport, for protection, wants it for any of these big time things of, of sports like PSA and ring sport. And then the pick of the litter that you're wanting, it's different from the pick of the litter I was looking for or somebody else. We also have pick of the litters of puppies for emotional support. You see, they, they say, okay, let's do the evaluation, which is gonna be the best one for the emotional support and I want that pick of the litter. So really it has many, many meanings and some people just simply want to be able to choose and say, okay, I want the pick of the litter. Yes, the pick of the litter on based on what? And that is very, very important because someone can say, uh, I want the pick of the litter. And I say, what's the pick of the litter? Well, the pick of the litter, they don't have any characteristics they're telling me about. That is why it's so important that you fill out our puppy request form. We want to know your lifestyle. We want to know what you're really looking for. You see, it's, it's completely, sorry, <laughs> we'll pull down. <laughs> Sometimes it's hard. Um, it's completely different one thing from the other. Now, we can say that we have been breeding in a certain way that our bloodlines, all of the puppies are pick of the litter because all of them carry a bloodline and genes that can be useful and will do a great uh, successful work in almost any task. They can be protection dogs, they can be conformation dogs because we do breed. As an FCI judge, I love conformation. I like dark colors, I like dark eyes, I don't want yellow eyes. I like dark pigmentation, good movement, good strong bones, good heads, and at the same time, I also want good temperaments. Temperaments that will work for a service dog, a working dog, a family, a companion. I always, since years ago, since the 70s, we used to call this the golden middle, which is the golden selection, which means it's a dog that can do everything. And most of our breeding, we try to everything to turn out to all of them, they picks up the litter. So this is very important for you to let us know when you're making your request what is your intention? What is your way of thinking of how do you analyze what it is your pick of the litter? I hope I have been able to explain this with this video. I am always very happy to be able to communicate with you and have a great day. So, um, Nicole, we've been having a lot of uh, people asking for picks of the litter. You were a client years ago and you know what we meant by pick of the litter and what is your way of how do you do you describe is a pick of the litter on puppies well for me personally i think it differs between everybody's individual needs so for me a pick of the litter would be some uh, puppy that um, i could look to for comfort 
um, that would also have strong attributes that um, maybe I could use for protection. So I would want a puppy that um, may be different than somebody else's ideal of a pick of the litter. So when people look at dogs, I, I think about their personalities and I think about what I need personally. So that's what I would consider pick of the litter. So it's subject to each person's necessities or way of thinking because years ago it was only the conformation. It started with the show um, uh, uh, sports of showing dogs and you wanted the pick of the litter to be the best one in conformation. Right. This has changed, hasn't it? Yeah, it, it would definitely change because I'm definitely not going to be showing any dogs, so I wouldn't even understand that. But yeah. So you're not going to Germany to show all the dogs? <laughs> definitely not. No, I'm, I'm looking for a household dog where I, I can, you know, utilize them to protect me in my time of need or comfort me if I'm, you know, sad because unfortunately I'm a disabled veteran, so I have a different need than maybe another person. So if you go and choose your pick of the litter, you would be going based on that. Yes. Those characteristics. Yeah, I would be looking specifically for that. That's what would be my pick of the litter. Okay, thank you very much. Sure. This is Tanya. She's also one of our clients and she's helping us now. So uh, we have a question for her. Yes, when you purchase a puppy, what do you look for and what do you consider to be your pick of the litter? Um, my pick of the litter would probably be a big male, correct, um, to the breed standard, um, more like a temperament that is the breed I'm looking for. Say it's a German Shepherd, then more all-around type dog can do just about anything. Um, I'm gonna look at the parents okay. and their, you know, what they've done and what kind of working lines or show lines they've been in. Um, but my personal preference would be a the biggest male, um, not particular on a color just the size and what about temperament you don't mind temperament or do you do temperament uh it depends on what i'm looking for if at the time i'm looking for a um, working dog then it needs to have a higher drive if i'm looking for just a family dog then i want something that's well-rounded but then you want that to be combined with the size that you like exactly yes okay and a little bit of the co good correct conformation yes okay Thank you, and we really appreciate your answer. You're welcome. What is your pick of the litter? Well, when I look at the pick of the litter, a few things come to mind. First of all, I look at what I plan on doing with the dog, if it's going to be sports or if it's going to be a confirmation. If it's going to be sports, what I look for is a dog that is a little bit reserved, not overbearing, not outgoing, but able to hold its own and uh, kind of by itself, but still social. For confirmation, it'd be a dog that shows good structure and uh, a good uh, good temperament. Hello, I was asked today uh, to do a short video of what I consider will be the peak of the litter. For me, the peak of the litter is the puppy in the litter that is closest to that particular breed's standard. It can be a KC standard or it can be uh, any European association standard. That, that, that is about the same. Um, also, um, you have to combine that with the solid temperament. Solid temperament is not by far the most aggressive puppy in the litter, which many people um, think uh, it is. Most of the time, it's just that they are scared and they start growling as a defense mechanism, let's put it that way. So you have to go with a puppy that it's uh, self-secured, that it's um, self-assured that when you come to him, he's not showing shyness or he's not showing um, rejection. You know. So that, that, that would be my pick of the litter if you're gonna breed or you're going to just go with, uh, with show with the show but if you just want um, a puppy to as a pet you try to stick as close to the standard read the standard beforehand before you go and see that puppy and give a lot of importance also to the temperament 
because um, that puppy is going to live in your house. So, so go with the puppy that feels more comfortable around you, that will bond with you better, that is not shy, that is not overly aggressive, that is um, happy to be around. If you take your children, you know, go ahead and, and show your children um, the puppy and be around him, see how comfortable if the behavior changes from when he's with you, the adult, or when he is with, um, with the children. Uh, what is what the pick of the litter is not it's not the fattest puppy in the litter it's not the biggest puppy in the litter it's not the most aggressive or you know uh, puppy in the litter so keep that in mind when you you talk about pick up the litter so you're on the same page with the breeder so you really understand what a pick up the litter means usually what it means is you're going to show the dog, you're going to do um, breeding, you're going to have him in your breeding program, and you need the most correct puppy. Actually, that's what it means. The most correct puppy in the litter, his head, his top line, his movement, everything that goes along with the standard. In certain breeds, it is color, it is markings, it's a lot of things. And then um, if you just want a pet, then go with the cutest puppy for you that is sound and that um, shows the best temperaments toward you and your family, that bonds better with you and that, you know, with the rest of the family. Thank you. Bye-bye.